Hi, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial with a new video regarding how to assess and bill finance charges to customers who have let their accounts become past due. Past due accounts are driven by the fact that we've established a due date with our customers. So first I'll review the terms assigned to each customer. To do that, we'll just go to the report menu, customers and receivables, and I'll choose the phone list. And to add the terms, we click modify here, and on the display tab we can scroll down and add a column for terms. I'll just put a check mark here. If we wanted more information on one of them, we could just drill down on a customer, and on the additional info tab, we can see there is a drop down here for terms. In this case, it's net 30. If we wanted to add, delete, or edit any terms, we can go to the list menu, customers, term list, and here we can make any modifications or create new terms if we wanted to assign those to a customer. To make sure that we've set up finance charges correctly, uh, we can review them by going to edit preferences. On the left hand side, there's a selection for finance charges and we'll just want to choose the company tab. Here you can see we've set the annual interest rate for 10%. Uh, the minimum finance charge is $3 regardless of how much the actual finance charge is. It won't be less than 3 The grace period is very important. Whether or not you want to let your customers slide before they start incurring uh, extra expenses for being past due. Uh, in this case we have it set for 30 days. We need to assign an income account uh, for the additional charges to be credited to. In this case, we're using other income. We can choose whether or not to let the finance charges accrue if the account continues to go past due. And we get a warning message about that from QuickBooks. We want to make sure that we are calculating the finance charges from the due date, not the invoice date. And don't mark the finance charges to be printed box. I'll show you why in just a moment. Before we assess any finance charges on customers, there's a couple of reports that we should review. I'll go up to the report menu, choose customer and receivable, and AR aging summary. Uh, this report shows that we have two customers that are more than 30 days past due, so they exceed our 30 day grace period, which means that they would be assessed finance charges. I'll minimize this report, and I'll bring up the second one the same way customer receivable, this time the open invoice report. We want to make sure that there are no unassigned credits and we're not assessing late charges to customers erroneously. To create the finance charges for the past due accounts, we'll go up to the customer menu and assess finance charges. And this window gives us several options starting with the date and the invoice type, it's preset to finance charges, which is fine. It's only going to be used internally. We're not going to send it to the customer, which I'll explain in a moment. We have the mark all or unmark all buttons. Uh, in this case, I'll unmark all and we'll just assess the finance charge against Chili's for now. The settings button opens the preferences dialog, which we already looked at. Collection history uh, will open up the collection report. Uh, this report will show outstanding balances for the customers on this list and also give contact information. You can see the phone number listed there in case you want to make a phone call to them uh, before they incur the charges. So I'll close this and the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and press assess charges. I'll go ahead and assess the charges. Um, so now they will post to both accounts receivable and the other income account. I'll show you the reason why we didn't want to print this. If we go to the customer center and for this customer you can see the invoice FC3 and I'll open it up and you can see how QuickBooks created an invoice for the finance charges only and none of the original charges that were on the invoice which really doesn't do us any good. Instead what we want to do is to send the customer a statement that includes the original invoice amount. So we'll go to customers and create statement. We want to make just a few changes here. First, we want to make sure that we include all open transactions as of the statement date. So we select that option. We only assessed one customer, so we'll choose one customer and we'll select it from the list. 
and we want to select show invoice details on the statement and then I'll hit preview and now on the statement we can see uh, both the detail of the original invoice and the detail of the finance charges uh, together and at the bottom of the dialog box we can choose to either print and mail to the customer or email it to them.